morning. This is the worst hotel ever. <laughs> what time was that this morning? About uh, 8 o'clock maybe. 8.50. So you guys know how I have a hard time sleeping, right? I finally got some sleep last night. I was in a deep sleep. And I sleep with earplugs in, I sleep with a face mask on, I sleep with a fan blowing, so... Like, all I hear is the dog barking, and I don't know where John is, and so I'm hollering for John, but he's answering me, but I can't actually hear him because I have the earplugs in, and he was, like, all the way by the front door. Apparently some drunk dude was trying to get into our room at 7 o'clock this morning, and that's why Minnie was barking. And it woke me up. Uh, were you already awake? John was already awake. Vlad completely unbothered until I scream at him <laughs> to ask him where his dad is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is the worst hotel ever. <laughs> uh, not on the recommended list. <laughs> Uh, anyway, after that scenario woke me up, I got very spotty sleep from whatever time that was, 6, 7, 38 o'clock in the morning until, uh, I can't breathe, <laughs> uh, until I finally just got up at 11.30. So, anyway rambling too much uh getting ready to get in the shower we have a day we are going on a uh on an airboat tour of gator park uh which is hopefully seeing the wildlife snakes gators uh maybe some turtles i don't know we'll see you along the way uh, we do have a nice dinner tonight uh that's later 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 so uh oh and we will be stopping somewhere for lunch we just don't know where we're gonna after i get ready we're gonna hop in the car and i'll also throw a picture up of my daytime outfit um i can't even think i need to go back to bed <laughs> um lunch <laughs> somewhere between point A and point B, which would be the Gator Park. We're going to stop somewhere and get lunch. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, uh, talk to you guys later. See you along the way. Bye. It is 88 degrees here in Florida. It is fantabulous. <laughs> uh, specifically in Miami. Um, we are headed out, uh, getting ready to look for a place for lunch. Hopefully it's a quick bite for lunch. It is two o'clock. I did get out the door when I said I wanted to get out the door today. Um, and then we're gonna head out to the Gator Park. So we'll see you there. Well, we'll see you at lunch and then we'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. Okay, apparently we have no idea where we're going because Lily's kitchen took us to a house. Like to go? Food on the route. One option is the pit barbecue on Southwest 8th Street. What's that? El Floro. El Floro. El seafood restaurant. Let's try that. What's way out of the way? One mile? Alright, I guess we're going to try that if we can find it. Non-alcoholic ginger beer. Okay. Is it beer? 
you feel okay? No, no. It's, 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 I don't have that explaining. You don't have it, no. Okay. Um, Very cocktail is a mold. Mold, what's your mold? I'll just have a ginger ale. You don't have ginger ale either? Sprite? Sprite, yeah. Okay, I'll do Sprite. Sprite on limonade homemade. Sprite. 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 Uh, Stuart, Rebel. Oh, Rebel? Yeah. I will also do a Sprite. Sprite too? Do you like appetizer? Uh, we haven't looked okay. yet, and we've never I been here before. I suggest a peach cobbler, it's very nice. A homemade peach cobbler, it's very nice. Okay. On top of it too, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's in garlic sauce. It's okay, a, then, that's, garlic sauce. then that's what I want for my meal. Yeah. For appetizer? I'm sorry? For appetizer or entrance? The appetizer. appetizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I have to read lips, so it's really difficult for me with people with masks and I can't read lips. <laughs> <laughs> and before, before I say lost a bit. Before I lost a bit. The, the soup first, yeah. and, then, and then this as my not, meal. And not to go sing garlic sauce. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I see the fish tacos? It is very nice. It's in so in sauce, it's a chipotle sauce. It's chipotle sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. I'm sorry, I do have a question. The lobster bisque, uh, can I get that in a cup instead of a bowl, or does it only come in a bowl? No, it's a small. It's a small. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's small. fine. That's it's a cup. It's a cup. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Anything else or all the tacos? Uh, yeah, just the fish tacos. I'm just gonna do the fried calamari. Fried calamari? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is what the lobster bisque looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is the lobster bisque. Ta da! It's actually lobster and shrimp bisque. it we thought maybe it might be a buffet and that kind of scared us but it's not and the food was really good uh, I would definitely give it a four and a half 4.75 do you agree with that yeah and I would recommend it if you are in the area um, it was good <laughs> I mean I can't I can't really say much more than that I mean it was lunch and it was good <laughs> better than the lunch we had the other day for sure so off to the gator park and we'll see you there bye
everybody. You want to say hi to everybody? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Now, Wally right here, he is three years old. Notice he's about three feet long as well. These guys will grow their fastest for the first six years of their life, basically growing a foot a year. That's growing extremely fast, right, guys? Wouldn't that be amazing to be six years old, six feet tall? That would be epic, right? But unfortunately, this does not work out good for us. It works out great for these guys because these guys need to outgrow the number one predator on the baby alligator, which is actually a bird. The great blue heron eat up the biggest majority of the babies. But now mama alligator, she can live up to 60 eggs, but out of those 60 babies, maybe one or two will reach to adulthood. Everything eats the baby alligator. But guys, this is not a bad thing. This is actually a very good thing because we have over a million alligators in the whole state of Florida. Let's say half of them are female. And if every single female had a nest of 60 eggs and every baby reached to adulthood, how many steps would that take for us to have way too many alligators out here, right? So see, it's actually their job to balance nature. It is their job to eat, sleep, and make babies. That's it. Genius. Class B lifestyle right here, guys. I wish I was an alligator. So yes, they do eat up a lot of animals out there, but they also provide food for the rest of the animals as well. And this is how the bounce is created. This bounce out here is so important. These guys are actually considered keystone species. Basically what that means, if you guys get rid of all of our alligators, you might as well get rid of everything else out there. They're that important. Super important, not important. Super adorable, not adorable. Isn't that right, little man? You want to smile? Smile. There you go. Now, alligators have a tongue. What's up? Alligators have a tongue. Crocodiles do not have a tongue. Where crocodiles are supposed to have a tongue that have pores called salt glands, but gives the crocodiles the ability to go out to that salty water or consume something big and salty. Too much salt in the system, they can slowly extract the salt out of the system using those pores. Pretty interesting, right? So what animal's big and salty, guys? Or who is big and salty? We are big and salty, especially me right now. I am extremely salty right now. A crocodile can digest all this, no problem. A crocodile can digest bones and antlers into dust. That is insane. Now let's say this little guy right here consumes my hand. Two hours later, the salt from just my hand will make this little guy right here go, oh, why did I eat that? I've got that effect on things, you know? But seriously, so do you guys, we're just this salty. Although the alligators do not realize that we're this salty, so it might try to come after something like this. But once they get a good taste of this, it's gonna go, man, and they won't try to eat one of those things again. This thing's just so nasty. Isn't that right, little man? I don't taste too good, huh? He's like, no, bro, you nasty. All right, little man, you want to say bye to everybody? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> there you go, little man. Now, this is a female. She is 20 years old. Her name is Susie. She weighs about 200 pounds. You guys hear that noise? You know what she just told me? I love you. Yeah, that's not true at all. What she did when she just hissed at me, that's one day I'm gonna get a hold of you and I'm not letting go. I guarantee that's exactly what she just told me. Now an alligator this size doesn't matter if it's a male or female, alligator that size has a thousand pounds per square inch in that bite. Strongest bone in our body is our femur right here. It only takes about 75 pounds per square inch to break this bone. A thousand. Seventy-five. Who's gonna win? She will win every single time, I promise you guys that. Now the alligator does have a perimeter around them from the tip of the nose. From the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail. You have to watch that tail, it's what you watch in that mouth. Notice when I press your tail, she curved it away from me. When I walk over to the other side, watch that tail. See, she's watching me all right. She wants to hit me with that tail. That's the reason why she's so good at pulling it away from me. She can use that tail like a weapon. She can do two things with that tail when using it as a weapon. She can sweep her tail across the floor, trip me, knock me down. She can actually lift up the tail and smack with it. She hits my knee with that tail, she can knock me down. If she knocks me down, she'll then spin around 180 degrees lightning fast, guys, like lightning. Imagine it's like a one-two combo. She hits out of her tail, she's gonna spin around and try and bite whatever her tail just hit. Now, the perimeter around the alligator comes out to about here. Move that tail. Comes out to about here. You go inside their bubble, this is when they become explosive. These guys are considered explosive, endless predators with limited energy. You guys will never see these good things grow chasing something down on land. It's, that's just not how they work. Now raise your hand if I taught you this when you're a kid. Alligators chase after you, they're running in zigzag. Raise your hand if I taught you this. Yes. I got a question for you guys. You guys ever met the person who ran zigzags and got away? No. That person doesn't exist. Seriously. These guys can catch boar, deer, and birds with that mouth. 
They can catch this with that mouth. Seriously, you get too close to them. Watch what happens. Mama, please don't bite me. You get too close, it becomes explosive. Now, Mama, go to the fence. The fence. Fence. Keep on going. Keep on going. The fence. No, not backwards. The fence. There you go. Lay down. Relax. Now, roll over. Uh. I wish right guys that would be amazing. Uh. Now, you guys see all the bumps on her neck, back, and tail. Those are called scoots. Those act like solar panels, and that's the reason why you see them laying down in the sun. That's called basking in the sun. These guys need to be at least 86 degrees Fahrenheit to digest their food in the belly. If these guys are not 86 degrees Fahrenheit and I got a belly full of food, that food is not going anywhere. It will sit there and rot inside of that belly. Extremely unhealthy for these guys. But now let's talk about when they're overheating. At 95 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, she's now getting too hot. Now to cool down her body temperature, even though she's still out there in checks, uh, direct sunlight, all she has to do is just open up that mouth. The tongue will start to drip down. That exposes all the blood vessels inside the mouth. This is when they start to release all their extra unwanted heat out of their body. We call that thermoregulation. When we start to sweat and our dogs are panting, that is also thermoregulation. Now when she has her mouth open like that, that is a threat. She's telling me to back off. I will destroy you with this mouth. Now, Mama, you want to walk backwards? Now, they say that alligators cannot walk backwards. Clearly, you can see her walking backwards right there. Now, get this. They also say that alligators cannot climb fences. Uh. <laughs> really? These guys can't climb fences? Yeah, they can. I've seen them do it before. Notice the lip right here. That's to make sure the alligator cannot climb over the fence. Make sure you guys are nice and safe. Makes sense, right? Notice the incline right up here. Okay, so make sure that alligators do not climb out overnight because alligators are actually nocturnal. Now when an animal is nocturnal, this does not mean that they're up all night sleeping all day. It just means that they're more active during the nighttime. They teach a lot of misconceptions and half-truths from our kids. My favorite one is carnivores. What do carnivores eat, guys? Me? You know that's a half-truth? Seriously, that's a half-truth. If I fed her hamburgers and hot dogs for her whole life, she would not develop correctly. There's actually a second category when it comes to carnivores. Our big cats like the lions, panthers, the wolves, those guys are meat eaters. She is a whole prey eater, just like a snake. Does a snake just eat meat off the prey? No, it eats the whole entire prey. Alligators, monitor lizards, snakes, crocodiles, caimans, those guys are all whole prey eaters. They need the whole entire prey to help them develop correctly. Hamburgers and hot dogs will do nothing for them. Imagine if the only source of food you ever had in your whole entire life was the Skittles. How odd would you look like when you became an adult, right? You're looking at it right here. Now, Mama, you want to straighten out a little bit? It's cute. No, no? There we go. Now, this next part of my show, guys, is considered the most dangerous part of my job. If something bad happens to me, you guys are not going to put me on YouTube, right? I know that's a pretty unfair request. Of course you guys are. But right now, this is what you call a tactical location. Something touches inside the mouth, the mouth's going to react instantly, just like a mousetrap. We set that mousetrap, you barely even touch it. Bam! Right away. Watch. Can't you guys tell us my baby? She looks just like me, right? 